Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. My name is Sahil, I'm a death metal musician and I have been one for 20 years but now I make keto recipe videos here on YouTube. Today we are going to be making some keto guacamole. Well actually scratch that if I'm being honest, guacamole is keto friendly already. So technically we're making just some delicious guacamole. Anyway enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. Time to make some guacamole and the star of this show is the avocado and I've got a pretty fancy avocado but I've been a little afraid about whether it will be too ripe or under ripe but I'm just going to take a chance and cut it open anyway by running my knife right around the avocado and you can see my avocado is almost perfect it has a few brown spots but it's still edible and I use the knife to kind of get the seed to pop out of the avocado and how I like to cut the avocado is use my knife and run it along the avocado upwards and sideways so you get little avocado cubes. So anyway I'm just going to get a bowl and then I'm going to use a spoon and scoop out the avocado and it's got a few more overripe spots but honestly it doesn't matter just eat the avocado. Life is not perfect and neither is your avocado. Anyway once I've scooped out all the avocado it's time to make the guacamole. So I'm going to start by seasoning the avocado with some salt generously. I'm going to squeeze in some lemon juice though thinking about it now I should have squeezed in lime juice instead that's more authentic. Anyway whether you use a lime or lemon it's all good. The next thing I'm going to do is chop some red onion and you can also use your regular white onion if you like and you want to chop this nice and fine and the amount of onion you use in your guacamole is completely up to you. So anyway after chopping that onion I'm going to put some of it in the guacamole and I'm not afraid of onion so I'm going to be generous with it. Then I'm going to take a really teeny tiny tomato that I have and I'm going to chop that up. Of course once again you can use any kind of tomato you like. You can use as much or as little as you like. So anyway after chopping the tomato in it goes all of it because I love the freshness of fresh tomato and then in goes some coriander also known as cilantro it's all good chop that up and then the cilantro or the coriander goes right into the guacamole and then of course I'm going to take a fork and give it all a good mix and a little bit of a mash so I'm kind of squashing the avocado but I'm also going to leave a little bit of those chunks intact because you know it's, it tastes really good man I love that texture Anyway, after giving it all a good mix and mash, my guacamole is ready. So folks, that's how easy it is to make guacamole. Now, you can also add things like garlic, fresh jalapenos and even some cumin powder to amp up your guacamole and take it to the next level. In fact, if you have some secret ingredients of your own, let me know in the comments below what you like to add to your guacamole. Anyway, I apologize for not tasting the food like I normally do on my episodes, but you know what, I'll do it another time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you did and do subscribe to Headbangers Kitchen and hit that bell icon so you get notifications. Because what's the use of subscribing if you never know when I upload a new video? Anyway, that's enough jibber jabber from me. I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Cheers and keep cooking. Also folks, click here and watch another recipe video of mine or you can click here and listen to some of my music.